It's been a few days since I've taken a shower or a shave, so I think it's about time to get ready. <laughs> hey. Well, it's another beautiful day to play some music, so I'm going to the Woodbury Potbelly today to go play my 600 and blah 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 show. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. It's important, very important to tea bag. And here we are again, back at the Potbelly. <laughs> I'll be putting $19 towards my secret goal. Well, thank you again, Woodbury. Got too much in here almost. There's too many bills. So that gives me a total so far of $198. We almost got $200 now. I'm coloring the red. Almost to 200. So awesome. I'm gonna go put it right over there. So I'd like to talk for a minute about a songster tip. Don't stop listening to new music, to old music, and to your local music. See, I've been in a rut before where I think I know all the music in the world, and there's always something new out there. You just have to go out there and find it. It's really not that hard nowadays with the internet. Just do it. And you should try taking your chances at like a garage sale or something. Just find like an old album or a CD that they have for sale and just take it home and listen to it and see if you like it. You never know what would come out of it. In fact, there's a band that I've heard on the radio a couple times called The Mountain Goats. And at first I was like, oh, that's okay. But then I listened to the lyrics and I was like, whoa, this is great. This is so colorful and I can like taste and feel all the words that are coming out. It was a totally new experience for me. And then I started listening to more lyrics by different people, including like old songs by Hank Williams and just going, what a great story he just told, you know, in a song. Listen with your ears, but also listen with your head. Think about what's happening. Where is this song going? And what do I feel like right now? So that's my songster tip for today, even though it's sort of vague and sort of all encompassing. It's just listen to more music. So I've just got this new camera and I've been going between 1080 and 720. And I'm like, I can't tell the difference. So I have to do a test and here's my test. Juggling at 1080. Juggling in 720 in the same spot. Seriously. What's the deal with that? The camera is in the same place, but it's like I have a whole lot more room with 720. It doesn't make any sense to me. King Crimson artwork at 1080. Here's King Crimson in 720. And this is outside at 1080. Here's looking outside in 720. 1080, 1080. Guitars at 1080 and I know who to be with you. 720, 720, play guitar at 720. No, no, it's how it's the same. I hope you keep on practicing and you get out there and play, you songster.